Hi and welcome to David Tom Creation's channel. Uh, this week I am kind of doing a very quick uh, review of the uh, Focusrite Scarlet 18i8 second generation. Um, as I needed to update my uh, PreSonus uh, to get more inputs, because uh, obviously I've got two synths now and uh, I need to run stereo uh, outputs from both synths, plus I'm going to get a groove box, so I'll need six inputs. Um, so if you're interested, my PSONUS is on eBay uh, and I'll leave a link in the description. Um, so I had a look around and the PSONUS uh, um, A input one was 280. Uh, so, uh, and I did like, I mean, PSONUS was great. Never had any problems with it at all. Um, good bunch of software with it. Um, so I thought, I've never had a, a Focusrite Scarlet, so I thought I'll just try this instead. Um, and I was looking around and uh, there is a great deal on the the second generation one, uh, at the moment they are selling this for £175 uh, and I will convert that to euros and dollars and put it on the screen. Um, so yeah, and um, but it's not on the standard Focusrite kind of store. On the official website, um, it doesn't appear that you can only see the, the third generation. So third generation is 370 Um So you're basically getting the second gen um, for half price, and as far as I can tell, there's very little difference. I mean, the third generation has got new preamps and uh, um, and a sort of better headroom, I think. But for most what most people are doing, I don't think it would even notice the difference. Um, it has the same amount of inputs, outputs, um, you know, dual headphone um, volumes and basically everything. It has, you know, I think maybe, no, because the, yeah, I don't even think it has more um, inputs around the back because the, the second gen has a MIDI in, MIDI through, and it has uh, SPDIF and also optical input as well. The, the, the main thing really is that the third gen is USB-C. Um, so, uh, but you still need a separate power output really. Um, because you you, sh you can't really run like eight, eight inputs off of USB-C. Well, as far as I'm concerned, you'd be struggling. Um, so apart from that, because the second gen is USB 2, um, and it has a, uh, I'll just show you. Right, so this is, this is the, the second generation one. As you can see, it looks pretty much identical to the third generation one. Um, like I said, you've got your, your four um, multi-jacks, and uh, your four um, uh, clipping uh, lights on the front. You've got two headphone, two headphone mixers. Uh, you've got a mute. You've got 48 volt, uh, 48 volt phantom for these. Uh, and then you've got um, other instrument and pad, instrument, pad, pad, pad uh, lights there as well. And round the back, you've got um, your uh, DC power, You've got SPDIF in out, MIDI in out, uh, USB uh, A, and uh, optical plus your monitor outputs, your main stereo monitor outputs, and four more line inputs, um, and your Kensington lock. So, um, so yeah, and you've got nice rubber feet, and it weighs a ton. It's very, very well uh, built. Uh, all metal kind of chassis and I think plastics front maybe the, or or is it? I'm not even sure. The front's metal as well. So yeah, so they're they're really well built. Um, and it comes with the red um, USB cable and your DC power supply. So let's whack it on. And uh, right, so that's it. That's it on. Um, and I'll just switch on my wave state so we can get some thing running through it um, and just move that out of the way hang on and we'll whack in the um, we'll whack in some uh, audio leads right so hopefully if I can get the cables in the way right here we go um, right there we go so there's no sound coming out of this because I haven't uh, I haven't got uh, it hooked up to my uh, to my Mac. 
Um, so yeah, so you can see there, um, they're clipping away nicely in the green. If I turn it up, we'll turn it up full and it'll go red. And that is how it works. So uh, there's generally, I, it's the same as the kind of pre -sonus. I leave them always at three o'clock and then that's kind of safe enough normally um, for, um, for that. That is pretty much all you got. And like I said, uh, on the third generation, you still need a power supply uh, as well. So it's not like you can, well, you can maybe run it off USB-C with so many inputs, but uh, if they've given you a power supply, it obviously needs it. Um, so yeah, so that is, uh, that is it. And like I said, there's very little difference uh, that I can, I mean, I've gone through the specs um, and uh, that is pretty much the only thing uh, uh, I can I can see. So if you look at the full spec on the third gen, uh, compare them. Unfortunately, the um, the the screenshots uh, when you go into the compare mode, it, it on the actual website it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't actually have all the all the comparisons, uh, which is a bit of a, a pain because you've got to try and find. Um, yeah, so the second gen has uh, phantom power, it has uh, ADA I.O. in only, has eight analog inputs, two analog outputs, uh, the balanced uh, dynamic range is 108. Yeah, the dynamic range is slightly, I mean, it's hardly anything, isn't it? Slightly higher on third gen. Um, I've lost it now, here we go. Yeah, it's 110, I think, 111 uh, dynamic range. Um, so, uh, and it says, no, it's not bus powered. And then you've also got, uh, it's obviously Mac and PC. And if it's a Mac, it's just usual plug and play, basically. There is also a, a focus right control app, but it you don't really need it to, to obviously connect everything up. Um, you've got headphone output range 108. You've got two headphone outputs, USB 2 connectivity, instrument input, max input, plus 12 dBU, four mic preamps, um, microphone input dynamic range 109 dB, MIDI I.O. yes, uh, monitor output dynamic range 108, micro monitoring software yes, and you get a, a UK, an EU and a US power supply and it has SPDIF and sample rates up to 190 kilohertz and you get software um, as well and so obviously you can, it's obviously, it's called an 18 I A, but you can't get, I mean, obviously it only has eight inputs, but if you used ADAT, you can get another eight inputs and four uh, and four line inputs. Um, yeah, so I think that's how they're calling it an 18. Um, but I don't know why they just don't call it an 8i8 because it's only got eight, um, eight inputs um, and two uh, stereo outputs or two um, outputs um, and I think they are balanced as well they, sh they should be balanced to TRS outputs um, so yeah so that is um, that is it and like I said the um, uh, the deal uh, if I can get my uh, Safari back uh, the deal is running on a, a separate kind of website and uh, it is um, because the main Focusrite website is, is Focusrite.com. So I will put a link into this because it's actually store.focusrite.com. Uh, and obviously I'm in the uh, English GB um, version. Um, so yeah, so like I said, it normally would be 24999 and they are selling it for at once, 499, which is more or less exactly half price of a third gen. Um, so and obviously you get free worldwide delivery on old orders over 160. Um, so, and they've added in uh, um, some extra software. So if you register before 17th of March, 2022, you'll receive Baby Audio's Parallel Aggressor plugin worth $49 for free. Um, plus you get Addictive Keys, virtual instrument from Excellent Audio Free, and uh, one full license per account enables you to choose one uh, addictive keys instruments such as Modern Operate, Studio Grand, Electric Grand or Mark 1. So you are getting, uh, plus you get obviously various other software with it as well. You get Ableton, you get Pro Tools Lite and, and what have you and some other um, 
audio effects. Uh, uh, let's see, you get Loop Masters, uh, you get to some soft tube stuff, and you get some red um, audio as well. So it's not a bad uh, bundle. I haven't downloaded any of it, to be honest, um, because I've already got plenty um, effects, plugins, and what have you. Um, so yeah. So um, so yeah. So that's it. Like I said, just a quick, um, a quick kind of not really a review, as there's hundreds of reviews of a second gen. Focus right, but it's just to let you be aware of this current deal. So I don't know how long it's going to last. Obviously, until they run out of, of stock of the second gen. And like I said, if um, if you are looking to upgrade, it is well worth it because I mean, literally, that is the same price as a um, a new yeah. So a four i four is two hundred and ten, and the uh, the two i two is one hundred and sixty. So for fifteen quid more. Uh, you can get a second gen 8i8 for more or less the same price as a third gen 2i2. So, I mean, it's pretty much a bit of a no-brainer. Um, and like I said, I'm hoping that 8 is going to be enough. Um, because, yeah. And like I said, I'm hoping to get a, um, a groove box next month. Possibly the uh, electron samples um, to, uh, to get that hooked up with uh, both uh, synths as well. And they're all stereo, um, so I need at least uh, six uh, inputs. So yeah, so looking forward to that, and uh, um, and that's it uh, for uh, this week. Um, thanks for watching, and as usual, uh, like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next week. Um, bye for now.